Hello everyone and welcome back to Smart Tech Reviews. Today we are diving into the world of compact computing with the powerhouse of a mini PC that we have caught our eye on AliExpress. Now, this mini PC is a true game changer, featuring the impressive AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS processor, which has 8 cores and 16 thread. Now, this CPU is designed to deliver exceptional performance for its size. In terms of memory and speed, um, it comes packed with 32GB of DDR5 RAM, clocked at a whopping 4800 MHz. Now, this ensures lightning fast data transfer rates and smooth multitasking capabilities. Now, out of the box, you get a 500GB of NVMe SSD with PCIe 4.0 support, providing ample storage and quick boot times. Plus, with Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0, you are guaranteed top-notch wireless connectivity as well. Now, for the visual um, enthusiasts and gamers, this mini PC supports 4K resolution at 60 Hz, while making it perfect for high-definition content creation and gaming. Now, let's talk about the price first. Level. Currently on AliExpress, this mini PC is available for just $528.99 New Zealand dollars for the bare-bone model. That means it does not come with any RAM or SSD, just the processor or APU itself. Well, which is not a bad um, deal for uh, the specs it offers, to be honest. But you can, again, um, bump up it with um, the amount of RAM and the amount of storage you want. So let's dive into some gaming and benchmarks and then we are going to do some emulation, PC gaming um, for this beefy APU and we will see how well it performs. Alright guys, we are in PCSX2 playing Gran Turismo 4. As you can see um, on the left hand side, top and left hand side, um, it's a Vulcan back end and we are getting constant 60 FPS um, because this emulator is um, quite resource hungry you can see that um, even on just a, a main screen over here um, all the eight cores are working quite heavy as well the temperature is around 71 degrees Celsius um, it's, it's drawing around 28 29 um, watts of power um, GPU is around 66 degrees Celsius but it's being utilized around 100% as well so let's jump in and see how it performs now just letting you know that i have bumped up the resolution to 1080p so it's around 3x resolution rest everything is in default settings there we go just gonna change it as you can say it is keeping the constant 60 fps No lag whatsoever as well so um, yeah you I think you can bump up the resolution to maybe 3.5 or 4x that could go up to um, 2k but then there might be some stutterings but um, as you can see it's running absolutely smooth 60 FPS locked I have not applied any widescreen hack as well. It just, just a three X resolution. Apart from that, everything is working fine. And the temperature is around 78, 79 degrees Celsius, which is not bad. As you can see, it's drawing power now, around 30, 31 watts of power. And it's running buttery smooth as well. So what? So now let's on. Let's move on to the next game. Um, we're gonna play SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. All right, guys. We are playing SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 on PCSX2. Welcome back, and and it's locked at constant 60 FPS as well. As you can see, it's running absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. Now 
and, and the resolution is bumped up to uh, 3x which is around 1080p but as you can see it is running constant 60 fps no problem whatsoever as well As you can see, the temperature is around 77 degrees Celsius on all eight cores. Uh, the GPU temperature is around 66, 67, so that's good. You can see the GPU utilization is around, it goes from 50 to 80 percent and yeah, but you can see there the all the eight cores are being utilized. All right, now let's move on to our next emulator. All right, guys, so we are using XEMU on this Ryzen 7735HS APU. As you can see, I'm running the latest build of XEMU. And we're gonna play um, flat out two. As you can see from the top left hand side, um, using all the eight cores because these these emulators are basically resource hungry and they uses a lot of cores. They love cores. So as you can see, uh, all the eight cores are being utilized and they're going over four gigahertz. Um, Temperature is quite high as well, 95 degrees Celsius. I can say I can clearly hear the fan bumping up. All right, so I'm quickly gonna run the game. So now what I've done is I've bumped up the internal resolution to 2x because with my internal testing, as you can see, the graphic looks really nice. If you bump up the resolution to 3x, um, you will be able to play the game, but then it will not stay at constant 60 FPS or around 60 FPS. Then you might see. Um, or you might face some stutterings here and there. Um, it is still playable, but I would suggest keeping at uh, 2x resolution instead of going to 3x resolution. So as you can see, uh, it looks it looks great. Look at that, it's working absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. Constant 60 FPS. As you can see, it is keeping that constant 60 FPS max. The temperatures on all the eight cores are around going up to 95, 96 degrees. But as you can see, all the eight cores are being utilized. But then, I have to say, the processor, this APU is quite, quite good. Remember guys, this is a mini PC. We are running Ryzen. 7000 series 7735HS and inbuilt Radian 680M graphics. As you can see, the graphics, uh, the memory of the graphic card is not being fully utilized. Instead of 2400, it is going, it is being used only 1100 or so, 1100 megahertz or so. But as you can see, the processors, all the eight cores are being utilized and they are going around 40 hertz of mark and yeah so it is fully playable lock 60 fps not, so, not any problem whatsoever all right guys so let's move on to the next game now all right guys you can say we are running xenia emulator We're playing Red Dead Redemption, and as you can see, it is working. Yeah, it's working. Uh, as you can see on the top left-hand side, it is giving us around 20 to 25, so it's between 20 and 25 FPS. And I wouldn't say it's work, work, working flawlessly, but it is playable. I would say it's playable. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not know. Well, there are no legs whatsoever. So that's good. 
as you can see the temperatures on all the eight cores are around 90 degrees Celsius you don't look much like no black water fella that's because I ain't if I'm being honest I don't care much for those high pollutant big city types not much at all. The temperatures are not bad as well. It's um, staying, staying constant, 90 FPS, um, 89, 89 degrees Celsius, and the FPS is around 20, 24 degrees Celsius, and it is working okay. It is playable, I would say. It's playable. It's not choppy or laggy. It is playable. Alright, guys, let's move on to the next game. Alright, guys, we got RPCS 3. And we are playing Skate 3. As you can see, it's running very well. What's 60 up, FPS. I've selected 60 FPS. As you can see, it's playing very well. Locked at 60 FPS. It's playing very well. No concern. Good. Good, doing great. Without any problem, it's running absolutely fine. You can see that. No problem whatsoever. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> so as you can see, it's running very well with all the default settings. Let's move on to the next video. Alright guys, we are running Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Now, if we go into the settings, as you can see in the graphics, it is set to low. So it is low to medium, you can say. So we're going to go back into the game and see how it's going to run. All right, it is being utilized. All the eight cores of this Ryzen 7735 APU is being utilized. The temperature is around 85, 86 degrees Celsius. It's bumping up to 90 now. As you can see, the total TDP um, being used by both the APUs, um, the, the CPU and the GPU is around 35 watts. So total 70 watt around. As you can see, um, the, the, ga the game is playable, 30, 31 FPS. Here you go. Asking us to go over there. What you got in the back? Okay, so it is working. Look at that. It's working. No problem whatsoever, guys. Yeah, so it is playable, guys. It is playable. Yeah, graphical-wise, it's not that bad. Now, if I'm going to take out the weapon... It's not going to be good for me <laughs> over here. Yeah, as you can see, this game is absolutely fine. Working, no problem whatsoever. Playable, guys. Here you go. Alright, my car is absolutely shattered. <laughs> here you go, but it is playable. Alright guys, let's move on to the next game. Alright guys, we are running for the Horizon 5. As you can see, we are locked constant 60 FPS. Now we are running this on this mini PC which is equipped with Horizon 7000 series, Horizon 7735HS. Now this is very good CPU. Now if you look at if you look at the numbers on the top left side you will see that all the four cores are being utilized. The temperature is around 82 degrees Celsius. GPU is being utilized 100%. Now if you look at the TDP, the GPU is um, taking around 35 volt and same with the CPU as well. So it's around 70, 71 FPS. Right, it's running flawlessly, no problem whatsoever. 60 FPS, constant nice. log. Now we are running this game on low to medium preset. 
so it shouldn't be a problem running this game now this game is very well optimized for amd apus as you can see constant 60 fps lock no problem whatsoever guys no problem at all we'll talk about it during this next tune this is hospital radio okay let's go down look at that look at the view look at that. we are gonna go all the way down from here as you can see graphically this game looks beautiful it's one of the beautiful game out there guys look at that and it is an open world game so you can do whatever you want in this game and it is absolutely beautiful guys look at that Constant 60 FPS, no problem whatsoever, guys. Look at that. Constant 60 FPS. Right, I'm gonna go in the middle over here and then let's do some drifting, shall we? Oh, I entered the. No, I don't want to enter. Sorry. I just want to do drifting. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I definitely don't want to enter. Here we go. Look at that, guys. Look at that. And it's just absolutely beautiful, this game. Looks beautiful. Look at that. Looks beautiful. Constant 60 FPS. No problem whatsoever. Oh, look at that. Alright, guys. So this brings to the end of our video, so if you are looking for a compact yet powerful desktop replacement or a portable gaming rig, this AMD Ryzen 7000 series 7735HS which is based mini PC might just be what you need. Now head over to AliExpress to check it out for yourself, I will be putting the link in the description below. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to Smart Tech Reviews, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell icon for more tech insight and reviews. See you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye.